Next to an update on the Pasco County School District as school board members consider changing bell times for students. The district says it's because a shortage in bus drivers has led to thousands of students arriving late to school every day. ABC Action News reporter Julie Solomon is following up on this story and has a look at how soon students could see these changes. Pasco County School Board members discussed changing district-wide bell schedules for students during a workshop Tuesday. The school district says there is a shortage of bus drivers in Pasco County and it is making students late to school every day. We consider late missing the bell, but there are some, there are some students who are getting to school an hour or more late or missing entire class period. The district released a list of new bell schedules for each public school. It has some students starting class as early as 7, 10 a.m., others around 10 in the morning. The new schedule would need approval from the school board. In short, by having some schools start earlier and some start later, the district may widen the window to take students to school on time. I said it during the meeting, I'll say it again, uh, no one in the district likes this plan, including the superintendent. But it is what it is, we have to do something. District officials have been advertising the need for bus drivers. The district says it tried numerous strategies to fix the problem, like financial incentives, pay increases, and job fairs. One person expressed concerns to board members during public comment in Tuesday's board meeting. I applaud you for making some type of effort, but it's not the right effort that you're making. It's the pay. That's the number one problem. And you're causing all the parents, the teachers, people in the school system, and the students to now suffer more because of the time change. School board members are expected to vote on a new bell schedule in November. If approved, the changes would take effect in January. Reporting in Pasco County, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.